Americans are driving in record numbers. According to the Federal Highway Administration, U.S. drivers logged a record 1.6 trillion miles in the first half of this year, a 3.3 percent increase over the same period last year. The troubling news is that the percentage increase in traffic deaths is growing at a much faster pace. The National Safety Council reports 19,100 people were killed on U.S. roads in the first six months of 2016, a 9 percent jump over last year. We are seeing these increases because there is also a cultural issue at work. We really need this country to adopt a safety culture, a culture that says texting while driving is not acceptable. And even though adults acknowledge that, the fact is they tell the children one thing and they do another. So why is that acceptable? And that's because in our culture, we really haven't adopted a safety culture yet. King G is the Director of Engineering and Technical Services for the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials, ASHTO. ASHTO is part of a broad base of safety stakeholders, leading the Toward Zero Deaths campaign, promoted in part through a website and this video. The campaign is advancing a national strategy that involves state departments of transportation working with local partners to change driver behavior through education programs, law enforcement activities, coordinated emergency response, and engineering, from highway design improvements to safety features like rumble strips and new technology. Any rise in the rate of fatalities is of serious concern. And reality is, as you mentioned, towards zero deaths involves collecting all of the countermeasures that we know work to reduce fatalities, to reduce injuries, to reduce crashes. And it's a matter of continuing and staying the course and putting those countermeasures into effect. We see these rises because there's something else going on. And that is the culture in which all of these things operate has not been changing. Buckle up for safety, buckle up. Buckle up for safety, always buckle up. Pull your seat belt snug, give an extra tuck. Buckle up for safety, buckle up. In fact, the Governor's Highway Safety Association says that despite decades of public safety campaigns to improve seatbelt use, nearly 50 percent of those killed in motor vehicle crashes weren't buckled. We're still not wearing our seatbelts despite uh, all the education campaigns, despite all the good laws. About half of all traffic deaths uh, show an unbelted driver uh, and particularly a big issue in the backseat. Uh, backseat use is typically about 10 to 15 percent less. Atkins says a failure to comply with seatbelt laws occurs most in back seats of vehicles, especially those for hire. Somehow when we, when we jump into a Lyft or an Uber or even a traditional taxi, we think we're magically protected and we don't need to wear the seatbelt in the back. And we've seen that in some high profile crashes, uh, Bob Simon from CBS News and others, but uh, just in, in the day in and day out, uh, we're forgetting to wear the seatbelt, particularly in the back seat. Most people riding in the front seat do buckle up, but the three leading causes of fatal motor vehicle crashes remain unchanged. Alcohol impairment, speeding, and distracted driving. Preventable crashes that the National Safety Council predicts will continue to climb. The NSC estimating that 438 people will be killed on the nation's roads over the three-day Labor Day weekend that begins September 2nd. If the NSC is right, this will have been the deadliest Labor Day weekend since 2008. So we can do all of the engineering, all of the uh, education that we want, but unless the individual takes responsibility, it's not going to happen. We need everybody involved to get to zero.